Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and today Ian and I, here's Ian, <laughs> we are in West Asheville. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the area. So right now we're walking in Carrier Park, which is right along the French Broad River. And I don't know how long of a walk it is, maybe. Two miles. Like two, yeah, I think it's two miles if yeah. you do the whole thing. Um, but we're also going to lunch at Home Ground, which is one of our favorite breakfast spots. We were going to go to a place called Sunny Point, but the line was probably like two hours long. <laughs> yeah, we'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's one of our favorite places too, but you have to get there like right when they open, otherwise you have to wait forever. So I'll show you a little bit of this park and then we'll go to lunch. Carrier Park is located just south of downtown West Asheville. It features a hiking and biking trail along the water, plenty of picnic areas, and a put-in spot for tubing. At the far western side of the park, there's space for all kinds of sports activities, including volleyball, basketball, a playground, and more. Home Ground is one of our go-to breakfast spots, and it's right across from Carrier Park. They have really tasty and unique smoothies, along with other drinks like coffee and tea. They also have a variety of bakery treats and classic breakfast and lunch options. The outdoor space is perfect for relaxing on a nice day. On the weekends, there's often live music. Down the road from Carrier Park is the French Broad River Park. It features a dog park and more trails along the water. All right, let's head downtown. Dobra Tea is one of my all-time favorite spots. I'm a tea lover, in case you didn't know. There are tons of options, definitely something for everyone. They have cozy floor seating, traditional tables, as well as patio seating. Also downtown is Biscuit Head, a movie theater, Nine Mile, a really tasty Caribbean restaurant, and a variety of other shops and restaurants. West Asheville is known for being very artsy, so you'll see lots of murals and artwork throughout the downtown area. Hey everybody, so now I'm about to go into one of my favorite garden shops, which is Flora in West Asheville. And it's really, really aesthetic. They have some really, really cool plants and um, just kind of some housewares too, like dish towels, mugs, things like that. So I'm gonna take you inside and show you some of their cool things. Flora has a variety of unique plants, planters, garden tools, gardening books, crystals, candles, and kitchenware, like mugs, dish towels, etc. A 
If you need a little inspiration for greening up your new home, definitely make it a point to stop in here. West Asheville is really popular, and for good reason. It's less than 10 minutes from downtown Asheville, is one of the more walkable neighborhoods, and features a variety of artist murals and gardens. Bungalow and arts and crafts homes are the predominant architectural style, but you will find some ranch homes as well. Lot sizes tend to be pretty small, typically a quarter acre or less, which is great if you just want a little bit of yard space. There are a variety of modern style homes that have popped up recently. Some even have mountain views. At the time of recording, the average sale price in the last six months in West Asheville is just over $460,000, while the median price is just over $435,000. If a sense of community and walkability is what you're after, this might be the perfect neighborhood for you. <laughs> well, I was gonna have you do, do it. I want to do something weird. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> you totally messed me up with that. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I did quickly want to mention I didn't actually say what we got at Dober Tea, but <laughs> we got this um, most drink. Pretty much, I cannot. Ninety percent of it. I cannot speak drank most of it already um, but we got the bee's knees which is a really tasty um, iced drink and it has honey lavender mint rose and a couple other things if you, you don't like it. yeah if you don't like rose it's not that powerful you mainly taste like the mint and honey I would say and a little bit of the lavender but super super good if you want something non-caffeinated um, but they have probably like hundreds of options of tea I snuck a clip, you can see it. Yeah, also, I well, I did already show you a bit of the inside. So that's what we got at Dobra. I really hope that you guys enjoy the little tour around West Asheville, some of the parks and downtown area and neighborhoods and everything like that. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think and what you guys wanna see next time. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you are not already and I will see you guys very soon in the next one.